Sure is hot out tonight. Hot. Hotter than nine naked women in a Volkswagen. Stinking hot. Hey, Jimmy. Can we turn up the AC? I'm about to fry out here. It seems all right to me. <sighs> Cheapskate. That guy wouldn't know air conditioning if it was drop kicked up his ass. He ain't never turned it on in here. You said you were ready. I know. Because I was talk. This is real. Hell yeah, it's real, baby. We're halfway out of town, the car's packed. We can't go back now. Stop. What? Just stop. We said we were going to film this. We agreed. The whole trip. Come on. People love this shit. Right now, Billy, please. Do you want to stay in this shithole forever? <laughs> not me. I'm not going to end up like my father working my fingers to the bone in a fucking mill for the rest of my life. I'm getting out of here. If we don't leave right now, we may never have another chance. I know. So give me some love. <laughs> How's your mama doing, Arlene? Oh, I don't go by Earlene anymore. I change it to star. Two hours. Oh, well, tell her I said hey. <laughs> hey, Noreen. Pretty hot for an old broad. I'm 32. Don't mind him. He's an asshole. What'd I say? What? Noreen, get to work. Jimmy, I have been on my feet all day. I'm tired. You know what? I'm going to fire you. Haven't you fired me enough this month? I'm not kidding this time, Noreen. Right. And who are you going to get to work in this dump, huh? There's plenty of girls that want to work here. Jimmy, you are full of more shit than Christmas turkey. I'm not kidding you. I am not kidding you. Phone inside here, the one outside is busted. Yeah, there's one in the back. Yeah. What's the matter? I don't got a headache. Bad? I'll be all right. Hey, Noreen. I get a piece of that lemon meringue pie. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Well, it was a tough call. <laughs> I had to do a bit of a tap dance on this one, but uh, I closed the sale. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm.
How's it going tonight? Can't complain. What can I get you? A cup of coffee would be great. I, I gotta warn you, it's uh, pretty strong. Really? How strong? You could pull a pistol in it. Uh, sounds good. <laughs> I got a long drive. Uh, the kitchen's about to close, so if you want to order something, you better do it now. Oh, no. I'm good, thanks. How about a slice of pecan pie? We make the best pecan pie this side of the Mason-Dixon line. That is a bold claim, young lady. Can you back that up? Well, you can just ask anybody in Silver Lake. Since I don't know anybody in Silver Lake, I guess I'm just gonna have to take your word for it, huh? You trustworthy? I swear on a stack of Bibles. <laughs> you know what, maybe later. Just, just a coffee. Well, sit yourself. Thanks. You're not from around here, are you? You're just passing through? Yeah. Where to? Uh, I'm sorry. Where are you headed to? New York. New York? Oh. Yes. You live there? Brooklyn. God, Brooklyn. I have always wanted to see New York City. And you live there. Oh, you are so lucky. You obviously never been to Brooklyn. <laughs> no, I, I haven't been much of nowhere. Mm. Well, you should go. Uh, I wish I could, but uh, I don't think I'll be leaving Silver Lake anytime soon. <laughs> mm. Sorry. Oh, don't be. <laughs> it's not such a bad little town, really. It used to be this big vacation spot, you know? Lots of boating and swimming. People came from miles and miles around. <laughs> what happened? Well, the lake dried up a few years back. Nothing but a great big hole in the ground now. Let me get this straight. There's not actually a lake in Silver Lake. No. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, at least you got that pie. Yes, we do. <laughs> I I'm Noreen, by the way. Oh, hey, Noreen. John Dixon. It's nice to meet you, John. Me too. Likewise, likewise. So, uh, hey, is there a, a, a restroom? Oh, in the back by the phones. <laughs> uh, hey, you, uh, you should flush it twice. The uh, handle gets stuck. I'll keep that in mind. over in Union County. Murders? Four murders are being investigated tonight by the Union County Sheriff's Department. Execution-style slayings occurred in the town of Aberdeen. The bodies of Tom Carter, age 44, his wife Lucille, age 41, and their two children, ages 6 and 9, were discovered dead in their home this evening. God. Police Chief Ronnie Gale said the victims were shot in the head with a 22 caliber weapon after mm -hmm. being tied up and wrapped in plastic. Authorities are on the lookout for a male, possibly driving a late model black pickup truck in connection with the murders. In other local news, the Union... Jesus Christ. What the hell's the world coming to? It's crazy. That shit is just crazy. You hear that? What? Yeah, suspect. Black pickup truck should be easy to pick up. What kind of person kills a child? A sick bastard, that's who. It's just wrong. Well, let's get back to work. There was some murders tonight. Oh, really? Yeah, a whole family. Wow. Yeah, husband, wife, two little kids. So did you know them? No, no, I didn't, but little kids, you know? Yeah. You, you have kids? 
No, no, no. The Lord didn't see fit to bless us with any. It, it's probably for the best, though. Oh, okay. How about you? Is there a Mrs. John? <laughs> there uh, was. She, uh... She passed away two years ago. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I, no. I didn't mean to... No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. She was a... She's a good woman. You know what? <clears throat> I think I will have something to eat. me the heebie-jeebies. What's that? No, and there's some crazy lunatic out there somewhere. Shit, there ain't no lunatics out here. How's Frank these days? No, oh, he's Frank. You got a job yet? Yeah, he's employed full-time by the television. Oh, I'm sure he'll find something. But get off his butt. You can kick his ass out. Oh, I married him for better or worse. This is just the worst part, I guess. <laughs> you could always leave him. Yeah, where would I go? What would I do? I'm just some dumb waitress. I don't know. You could always run away with me. <laughs> now, what would Bobby Sue have to say about that one? Bobby Sue. She likes you better than she does me, anyhow. <laughs> Speaking of which, I guess I should get home to the missus. How much do I owe you? Uh, five ninety-one. Is that right? Yeah, let me see. Uh, let's see, two twenty for the burger, seventy-five cents for the fries, buck sixty-five for the pies, seventy-five cents for the uh, iced tea. That's five fifty-five plus tax. Yeah, it's five ninety-one. Well, damn, girl. See, you're not some dumb waitress. Hell, you can count. Oh, great, I can count. Well, you know that, and Nick will get me a cup of coffee. Cheer up, Noreen. It's gonna get better. I guess it can't rain forever. Sorry, mister. Kitchen's closed. Where's the nearest town? Silver Lake. But everything's probably closed by now. Silver Lake, huh? What's after that? Nothing but cows and cornfields for hours. Can I interest you in a piece of pie or a cup of coffee? about that for a little while. <clears throat> Can I get you something? Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe a steak. Kitchen's closed. Can I interest you in some pie? We got the best uh, pecan this side of the Mason-Dixon. When the fuck did I ask you for pie? Get me some coffee. Yeah, sure thing. Can you? Hey, hey! Well, we got a problem out there? Evidently, you can't hear. The lady said the kitchen's closed. That means I'm not making squat for anybody. If you don't like it, there's the door.
Sweetie, I should get my change and... What's that? I'm just gonna get you some coffee in the back. Oh, uh. <sighs> Late, Hank. I'm gonna hit the head before I head out. <clears throat> hey, what's going on? The man. What man? The one that just came in. I've got a bad feeling about him. Why? Maybe that's him. Him? The one that killed that family. Oh, Noreen. He doesn't look like the serial killer type to me. And I'm the police officer. Just because you watch America's Most Wanted every night don't make you an expert on serial killers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just, let's stop right there. For your information, America's Most Wanted plays a critical part the apprehension of, of many fugitives in this country. It's important. Lonnie? Noreen, you're just jumping. That's I all. am not. Look, even if he was the killer, which clearly he is not, he wouldn't stop in here for a cup of coffee. If he had a lick of sense, he'd be a million miles away, and he certainly wouldn't be in this county. All right, and what if you're wrong? You can't just go question a man because you think he's weird. You're the cop. Go talk to him. Talk to who? Oh my God, you scared the shit out of me. Jeez. <laughs> we're just, we're just talking. What, what can I get for you? Some more coffee. Yeah, yeah sure. Just one more coffee, you see? Just one more coffee is all. Okay. Look like you saw a ghost. Hey. You all right? That guy's got her spooked. Well, maybe you ought to go say something. Excuse me. Pardon me, mister. Probably none of my business, but I was just wondering uh, what brings you here? Oh, just our little slice of heaven here. What, what brings you out this way? It's none of your business. Oh, well, we're real friendly around here. We just, we like to get to know the strangers. Come on through town, just want to know, that's all. Is that a fact? Yeah. Just want to be left alone. Well, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. Okay, Where are you heading? 
It's none of your fucking business. May I remind you that you're uh, you're talking to an officer of the law and you're asking some questions I, I expect an answer. Is that what you are, an officer of the law? That's right. You want to just take it down a notch, friend? I'm just asking a few questions. You mean more like a deputy, aren't you? I'm, in fact, a deputy. Now, listen, I'm just here to ask you a few questions. That's all. I'm not here to start any trouble. Are you looking for trouble? Because if you're looking for trouble, I'm here. I'm just looking to be left alone, like I told you. I'll leave you alone as soon as you answer a few questions. Fuck you. God damn it. I've had just about enough of your mouth. All right, you walk in here using that kind of language. I won't tolerate it. Now, I need you to answer some questions. This conversation is over. Conversation's not over. God damn it, I'm an officer of the law. You will tell me what I want to know. Hey, mister, I'm talking to you. Oh, yeah? How's this? This might get your attention. How's that? Huh? Now, you tell me right now what you're driving. Are you going to shoot me, officer? I know what to do with this. You don't worry about that. You just answer my questions. You know, if you're going to take that thing out, you better be ready to use it. I don't want to have to ask you again, buddy. You answer my questions right now. Mister! God damn it! How's that, huh? Lonnie. How's that? Lonnie. Okay, yeah. We're getting somewhere. I get your attention now, huh, tough guy? I get your attention now. Take another step. Now you tell me what you're driving. Now you tell me what kind of car you're driving. I'm driving a truck. A truck? A truck. I said it was a black truck. I know. I know. What color is your truck? It's right out there. Why don't you step outside and see for yourself? It's dark. I mean, it looks black from here. It's red. Would you help me out here, Hank, huh? All right. It's red. So you say. We'll see about that. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> it's red. I know Martha Stewart, but I'm pretty sure I can still tell the difference between red and black. The truck's red. It's red. It's red. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. I'm real sorry. I mean, this has been a, a real bad misunderstanding. You see, we were looking for a fella in a truck. There was, there was a police report on the radio. They're looking for a man in a black truck. What'd this man in the black truck do, anyway? He killed some folks. I think that's about enough excitement for one night. Can I get a check, please? Yeah.
I feel like I should come by here more often. <laughs> Didn't know you guys had late night entertainment. Oh, are you okay? Yeah? I'm just a little shaky. Just breathe. It's gonna be okay. I don't think he'll be coming back anytime soon. everybody's keys your wallets and your cell phones right on the table right over there everybody right now Sure, that's it. Okay, back sit down. <clears throat> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh my. Are we having a problem over there? Jeez. I said, are we having a problem over there? No. Sit the fuck down. I thought you said you gave me everything. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, honey. Yes, sir. Go back and sit down. Hey! Jack in the box. Why don't you just walk on over here right now? See that guy on the floor over there? You to drag him out. Get it out where? Wherever you want. Just do it. You're crazy. I ain't touching that thing. Do what I said. 
I'll put a fucking hole in you right now. I can't do this, mister. I'm gonna be sick. Then be sick. Drag him out like I told you. You know, call the cops? No. Look, I figure he's got eight bullets in that handgun. Maybe seven shells in the shotgun. How do you know that? Lonnie carries a 1911, standard eight rounds. What are you, a gun expert? Sort of. What are you saying? I say we rush him. Are you crazy? No, I ain't crazy. There's five of us. There's one of him. Odds are he cannot shoot us all. Odds are he's gonna shoot some of us. Oh, God. I don't want to Look, he is gonna kill us anyway. At least if we rush him, we got us a chance. We don't know what he wants. Jesus Christ, you guys. I ain't gonna sit around here and wait to find out. Are you with me? Why not? Look, I'm a salesman. I'm not a superhero. What do you suggest we do then? Wait? Wait for what? To die? Fuck that. Will you shut that yakket over there? Mister? What? I know you're scared. Of what? It's not too late. Too late for what? To stop all this before it gets worse. Please. Please. Sit over there and play dumb. It's, it's, it's me. It's Green. You must be Mr. Smith. You're the man with the gun. 
Whew, boy, howdy. <laughs> Nash told me you were one cold-hearted son of a bitch, but my God, I had no idea. Hey, would you mind not pointing that at me? I, I don't like guns. <clears throat> hey! Oh! Okay, not the friendly type? I get it. You're working. You're busy. No problema. Yeah. Well, since you're busy, um, I'll get right down to business. Is it done? Is what done? Yeah, the job. Is it done? What do you think? <laughs> well, okay. Then this, my friend, is all yours. It's all there. You can count it if you don't believe me, but... Yeah. So, I guess we're square. Well, it's been nice doing business with you, Mr. Smith, and I doubt I'll need your services any time in the future, but I will highly recommend you. Oh, and I hate to overstate the obvious, but uh, these people have seen my face, so you are going to take care of them, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I would love to stick around and watch you do your work, but I got a date, so good night. Hey! Sit down. Why? Because I said so. What for? Sit down! I, I, don't, I don't understand where you're, you're coming from here, buddy. Sit down! Look, is this some kind of scam? Is that it? Are you wanting more money out of me? I got your money. No, because I don't have any more money. See, I was told you were a lot more professional than this. Yeah, and I don't know what the hell you got going on in here, but you could damn well believe that I am Colin Nash, and I'm going to tell him. We got a big problem. A problem? What? What problem? <laughs> I ain't Smith. Okay, so you're... You're not Smith. And, uh... You're not a cop, either. Well, there was a cop in here earlier, but he's dead now. Because I shot him. Okay. You must want something, right? I mean, uh, right? I mean, am I right? Everybody wants something, right? Sure. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. So, uh, what do you want? The truth. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you whatever you want to hear. Who's Smith? Smith? Yeah. Smith, Smith, yeah, he, uh, I don't know. You don't know or you're not going to tell me, which is it? Could you just untie me? Just let me go, I'll pay you. <laughs> I already got your money. I'll pay you more. You said you didn't have any more. Now you're nothing but a liar, Mr. Green. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not. I'm just, I'm, I'll look, what, what do you, okay, I'll tell you anything you want to hear. I'll tell you. What do you want to hear? Money in the case, who says it, where to come from? That, uh, that was a business deal. <laughs> a business deal, huh? Yeah. What kind of business deal? I don't think I can do that. I think you can. I can't. Well, that's the wrong answer. Oh. 
No, no, come on. Come on, let's talk about this. Let's talk about it. Look, I'll pay you, I swear. I'll, hey, man, you, you know I'm good for it. Hey, Lord. Should not be here. This is not right. Stupid convention. It didn't want to go in the first place. My boss makes me really. I should have just driven straight home, 800 miles of road, and I stopped in this particular diner on this particular night. Just dumb luck. I'm gonna die in this godforsaken diner in the middle of nowhere for nothing. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It's just bad luck my whole life. For what it's worth, I'm glad you did. Stop. Smith, and where'd that money come from? I can't, I can't tell you. Oh, I think you can. Ask me how come I know it. Say, how do you know it? How do you know? I'm gonna tell you the answer to the question. Because I've seen it before. I've been there before. Hundreds of times. Sooner or later, you're gonna say everything. Everyone always does. You gotta ask yourself a question, though. How much pain can you endure? How much pain can you endure, Mr. Green? I think you need a little bit more incentive. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything. Package down there, pal. Okay, I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to tell you? Everything. Okay, everything. Everything. Okay. Uh, where, where, where do you want me to start? Well, the beginning's always a good place. Try that. Okay. Okay. I, I'm a businessman. This is all business, right? Yeah. So I own some family land out in Anson County is a couple hundred acres. We're gonna build a shopping mall there. I'm donating the land. My partners are putting up the money. Pretty sweet deal. I mean, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's perfect. I can start printing the money now. I just needed to sell one more piece of land. One more big chunk of land that was right where the parking lot needed to be. But the owner, He decided he didn't want to sell anymore. So I offered him double, triple what it was worth. He still said no. He wanted to be a farmer. <laughs> you know, cows and chickens and shit. I mean, who the hell wants to be a farmer anymore? Anyway, without that land, I'm screwed. The deal stalled. And I can't tell my partners. 
Because they'll kill me. These guys are loan sharks. They're screaming for money. And when they get sick of screaming for money, they start asking for fingers and toes. Look, I'm, I'm just a businessman. I made a business choice. I had to do something fast, so I called an associate, and he put me in touch with a name. Mr. Smith. Smith. Who is this Smith, anyway? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I, I don't even have a number. He oh, he calls me. What's he look like? I don't know. I fuck, How the fuck should I know? I talk to him on the phone. This Smith. What exactly is he going to do for you? He is going to persuade the farmer to sell his land. How's he going to do that? I, 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 don't, I don't know what his operation is. You don't know? No. What did he do to the farmer? What, what does it matter anyway? Nothing to me. What did he do to the farmer? Kill the farmer. Oh. What else? His wife. Yeah, is that it? His kids. There's no heirs. The land goes to the bank. And I get a better deal. That's the way it was, huh? Yeah. You're not gonna like what's gonna happen to you next, but you got it coming. What? What are you gonna do? Hey! What are you gonna do? No! Oh, God, please. Please, no, don't. Don't you just... Let me go. Let me go. What? I got a big quandary here. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that bag of money on the counter over there. So what? So what? That belongs to Smith. What do you mean? That means one of you is Smith. One of us? He got here before I did, and that means it's one of you. You goddamn idiot. Do I look like a professional killer to you? I don't know. Maybe you are. A fucking nutbag. What about you? You a killer? Yeah, if you count the wildlife I run over with my car. How can you be so sure? Maybe he never showed up. Nobody's gonna leave a bag of money like that behind, okay? Nobody. How about these two? How about you, college boy? I'm no killer. I'm an artist. <laughs> I ought to gun you first. Why don't you decide for me? I got a couple maybes here. Maybe? Maybe. Which one of them is it? Who, Smith? Neither. How do you know? Hank's in here a couple of times a month. It can't be him. A couple times a month, huh? And because of that, you think you know him that well? Not that well, but he's not a killer. How about him? He isn't neither. What if I make you guess? What if I give you three seconds on the clock? I can't. Who is it? I can't. Three. I can't. Two. 
please. What? Oh my God. Uh, okay, wait, 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 uh, wait, 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 wait. All right, I'll, I'll talk. I want to talk to you. Hell no, he volunteered, take him. I don't care what he did, I want to talk to you first. Let's go. do that okay when I look at you I want you to scream as loud as you can okay get him to turn his back and then I'm gonna go for the gun can you do that yeah yeah I can do that your breath, I ain't no killer. Says you. So how's this gonna go? I'm gonna ask you questions, and then you're gonna answer me. Questions about what? Questions about you. There ain't nothing special about me. Everybody's special. Each and every one of us is a beautiful, unique snowflake. That is the stupidest shit I ever heard. You saying I'm stupid? Are you saying I'm stupid? Is that it? No, sir. You soldier, aren't you? I was. You see any action? Call four, Desert Shield. I was in the shed. What were you? Gun bunny. A pretty good view of the action. The action I saw was a bit different. What was that, sir? Well, you could say I was kind of a people person. What about Iraq? Did you make it over there? Got out before that cluster. Good for you. What do you do now? I drive a truck. You married? Yes, sir. 
How long? Eleven years. Eleven years married. What's your wife's name? Her name is Mabel. Mabel. What a sweet name. She must be a good woman. The best. The best. Do you love her? What? I say, do you love her, soldier boy? Of course I love her. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? I told you I did. You're a liar! Look, mister, I don't appreciate you calling me a goddamn liar. You ain't lying. What's that? Hmm? What is that? It's your wallet, right? What are you doing with that in there? You carry it around someone else's condom, is that it? Does it belong to somebody else? Is it yours or not? Yes. Well, all right. What do you do with that damn thing? You having sex with other people besides Mabel? You got what you want. Can I go now? Hell no, you can't go. Why? I done told you everything you want. Because I'm not through with you yet. I want to know who these people are that you've been having sex with other than your wife of 11 years. This shit ain't none of your business. I'm making it my business. I'm done talking. I don't know. You don't know or you're not going to say. Which is it? I don't know their names. There's more than one, huh? Who are they? Prostitutes? Some. Where do you meet them? Truck stops. Gas stations. Bathrooms, mostly. You having sex with men? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because I like it! Uh, Exciting, huh? Yeah. Better than with your wife, huh? Yeah. Are you Smith? God. Look, bro, I'll be anybody you want me to be. Just don't shoot me again. Please don't shoot me again. Are you Smith? Yeah. Yes, I'm Smith. You ain't Smith. No! Killed an innocent man. That's the trouble with aggressive interrogation methods. Sometimes uh, you only end up hearing what you want instead of the truth. He didn't deserve to die. That's debatable. He did serve a purpose, as far as I'm concerned. His purpose? What, what was that? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Is, is this some kind of game to you? Playing with people's lives like this? You've got to separate the wheat from the chaff. What the hell does that mean? 
I read it in a book somewhere for people who don't understand the situation that they're in. Then what is my situation? You're a good person. You're uh, just at the wrong place in the wrong time, basically. You can change it. No, I can't. You have the power to change it. No, can't do it. You can't. Please do the right thing and just walk away right now. I've got a job. It's a job I'm gonna finish, and that's the way it is. A job? A job you... <laughs> you call torturing and killing people a job? Why are you doing this? What difference does it make? Does it helps to know. Listen, if you want to know the truth, I'm telling you, honey, I just came in here to get something to eat. Yeah. But what happened? All hell broke loose. I snapped. And that's the way it is. What am I going to do now? I can't turn back. You, John, get up. No. Get up. It's not him. Get the fuck out of that booth. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Get up. Over there, sit down. Come on, get up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stop right there. Get up. Are you Smith? I am not Smith. My name is Dixon. Dixon. Sure it is. Listen, man. I'm the sales. Really, I'm in sales. Sales? Yeah. I mean, really, seriously, come on. I look like a killer to you. I mean, do I? What makes you think I'm a killer, huh? You're the only one left. It ain't her, that's for sure. Please. Please, I am not Smith. If you're not Smith, then you're no good to me. Please, mister, stop! Can't you see he doesn't know anything? Are you Smith or not? You know, I could tell you I'm the Easter Bunny, but it wouldn't mean shit. But you're Smith. Yes. I am Smith. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes, we are. You kill that whole family? Yes.
professional killer. Independent contractor. What do you work for? Not your business. I can make it my business and I can make you tell me. I don't think so. I'm very good at my job, Mr. Smith. I'm sure you are. Doesn't matter. Can't tell you that. Certainly by now you know I'm trained to do this. Yeah, you've been talking about it all night. Ex-military, right? Yeah. In interrogator, right? Yeah. I know your type. Professional. Sadistic fuck. Yeah. And you, uh, you worked for the government, right? Fucking figures. Human resource exploitation scored real high on that one. Yeah, sick mind for a sick job. That's what the government said right before they shit can me. What they dumped you? Personality disorders. Said I was mentally unfit for service. Fifteen years of doing their dirty work, and that brass just hung me out to twist in the wind. Too bad. Got two fucking years in prison, that's what happened to me. No gold watches, no pension plans. Fuck all I got. That's a fucking shame. I, uh, sorry to disappoint you, you know, but, uh, still not gonna tell you what you wanna know. I can make you tell me anything I want. I'm very good at what I do. You know what I think? I think you'll get tired of trying. Then you'll just kill me, so let's just cut the bullshit, all right? I'll tell you this. The people I work for, family. Very powerful. Family with connections everywhere. Kill me, and you open up a whole world of shit, my friend. You and I were very much alike, you know that? You know, I'm sorry to disappoint you again, but you and I are nothing alike. I kill for money. It's a job, nothing more, nothing less. You kill because, you know, you're Looney Tunes. Look, you're gonna kill me, right? Let's just get on with it. But really, I, I can't take much more just talking. You're not afraid to die? No, I'm not. I am afraid you're gonna keep talking, though. What, is something wrong? If I take the money, I'll kill you and take the money. Then what's gonna happen? Your people are gonna hunt me down and kill me. If I don't kill you and I take the money, then you're gonna come after me, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. You know what? You could, you could just give me the money and go. And you'd forget all about me? No. But you'd have a big head start. It's a big country. I might never find you. How about splitting the money? Why don't we split it? Honestly? Yeah. I'd still hunt you down and kill you. Why not cut your losses and take half the money and then you'll live to spend it? Because I'd only be half happy. But you'd have your health. You know what? I don't expect you to understand this because you know you're a homicidal lunatic, but it's the principle of the thing. I did a job, I earned my money, I expect to get paid. All of it. It's a tough choice. Yeah, it's a pickle. I do not envy you. What would you do if you were me? What, if I were in your position? Yeah, what would you do? I wouldn't be in your position. Not that your position is so much better. I guess it's a matter of opinion. Is that what you think? You know what I'm thinking? I'm gonna tell you something. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you're having a very bad day and what's probably a very bad life. You walked in here, you get your ass handed to you by Barney fucking Fife, and then you, you know, you snap. You start killing people. Why? I don't know. I'm not a psychiatrist. But you're in too deep now. You're in over your head. You're screwed, and you know it. So you're thinking, you know, about the money. Maybe I can take the money and go to Mexico, put all this behind me, you know, live on the beach, sip tequila shots, and watch the sunset. But the truth of the matter is, your troubles are just beginning. You can kill me. But my people are like a fucking hydra. You cut off one head and two more pop back up. 
You will never stop running. You will never hide. They will find you, and they will slowly but surely kill you. I mean, that's what I think. <clears throat> I calls him like a season. <laughs> talking to the cops, talking to your friends. If I kill everybody, no one's ever even gonna know I was here. You okay? Yeah. Thank God. I killed him. You didn't have a choice. Is he really dead? Him or you? It's okay. Hey, you know what? These are starting to hurt. C could you unlock them? The keys are over there. Got that key? No. What? I can't. You can't what? I can't let you go. Noreen. I know who you are. It never hurt you. I promise. You're gonna kill me the first chance you get. All right. Okay. Okay, so now what? Now what? Are you gonna turn me in? Make a citizen's arrest? Yes. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? You think the cops can protect you, huh? You will never be safe. 
Don't move. I'm not going to jail. Hold it right there. What, are you gonna shoot me? Don't make me. I don't think you will. Oh, I will. I don't believe you. And how do you know? Mostly because of the way you're holding that gun. I will. I swear it. I don't think you have it in you, Noreen. To intentionally kill another person? A human being? I mean, you're not the kind of person who uh, stands up for herself. You know? You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. Well, I know enough about you. I know you've been stuck in this dead-end marriage for, what, five, ten years, and you don't have the guts to leave. Shut up. All right? You've been working in this godforsaken place for, uh, I don't know, how long, serving rednecks, making slave wages, no job satisfaction. Retirement? And you still don't have the guts to go, do you? Shut up! So, no, I don't think you have the guts to pull the trigger. Stop! I will shoot you. Put the gun down, Noreen. Don't come any closer. Put the gun down. I will shoot! God damn it, put the gun down, Noreen! Stop! Stop. Stop. I mean it. No, I mean it, really. I mean it. Shut up. You know what? <laughs> I don't actually think you have any bullets in that thing. What? I, I mean, I think you're holding an empty gun. No, I'm not. <laughs> OK. <laughs> OK, let's see. Um, let's think about it, OK? You and me, we'll just think about it. How many shots were fired? Seven? Eight? Wow, I don't know. In all the confusion, I kind of lost count. And I'm a professional. You're just a fucking stupid waitress. You know what? You know what? You are right. I am just a stupid waitress. I have a crappy, pathetic life. I am terrified of change. I stay when I should go. I am not very smart. And I will probably never be truly happy. But I know one thing that you don't. Oh, really? What's that? I can count. Huh? One for the tall man. Two for Hank. Three for the kids. One for the ceiling. Seven bullets. That leaves one for you.
could see how things could be beyond this life that I'm living. I might finally be found. Stuck in my bed, thoughts in my head of all the dreams I followed. Faded light of yesterday. If I could crack the glass and leave this broken life I borrowed, maybe I could get away. Too late, not to run and not to hide. Find the truth inside.